It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Tiny stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their bed, while visions of yummy treats danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. We're just settling down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window. I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and yanked up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes did appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. A rabbit and eagles, his corset they came, and he whistled and shouted and called by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cubit, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He had dressed like a woodsman from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and I shivered with joy when he opened his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but quick as a wink, filled all of the stocking, then turned with a blink. As soon as he wore, living present were true, he nodded forward, at the chimney he flew. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and off they all sped like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he draw out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a very good night.